One of the reasons markets have been in such turmoil in recent weeks is that people are bracing for the prospect that the Federal Reserve is going to bring to an end an historic period of zero interest rates. Well, after these tumultuous weeks, both in the U.S. and Chinese stock markets, the question is, does that change the Fed's mind? Will they go ahead with the hints that they will raise rates at their September meeting, or will they wait a little longer because they're worried about the economy? We might get some clues later this week when central bank officials from around the world gather in Jackson Hole, Wyoming for an annual conference where they're going to talk about things like interest rates, inflation, and monetary policy. Stan Fisher, the Fed's vice chairman, will be speaking on Saturday. At this point, there isn't a big reason for the Fed to change their plans because in spite of all the tumult in the markets, the U.S. economy still seems to be doing pretty well. In fact, just on Tuesday, there was new numbers out showing that consumer confidence is very high and new home sales are doing really well. The big question is, how do things look going forward? Will weaker trade because of a slowdown in China trim U.S. growth? Will inflation, which is already below the Fed's 2% target, go even lower? If the Fed concludes that those two things are in fact serious risks, you might see them drop strong hints that they are going to keep their finger off the interest rate trigger for a little longer.